that's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. See someone made it out alive. Ani Basu Falasore Sayoda Tau Ohoi. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be the Myriad's conviction to stop the world eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. He believes a Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs>
they've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. That's the Jadni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. That could have to me. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says the... The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. He's referring to your rampage through Bunker 101. It seems you don't mind a bit of blood on your hands. That's something you have in common. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves. But he's glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come. Says there is some darkness in the best of he had a He'll give you a chance to change your mind before you leave and asks you to reconsider. Otherwise, you'll be seen as a rival. <laughs> Then so be it. He wants you to know that they'll show no mercy at the end of this war and offers you a last chance to come back and join when you realize you've picked the wrong side. And with that, he urges you to seek protection at Myriad Stone Fort before word gets out that you've chosen not to side with them. It was built on the back of many, including us, and claimed by Myriad when the construction... Let's see. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. They formed and unfurled. <laughs> 